This is Scott, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the ENTJ description, and that's according to Myers-Briggs personality typing. All right, and in, in order to understand the ENTJ, first you're going to need to know their four functions. And the first primary function of an ENTJ is extroverted thinking, or TE, and this is basically their primary way of uh, seeing or interpreting the world. They kind of want to uh, control and sort of direct their external environment and they like uh, it being organized and make logical sense and so that's that's just how they how they like to uh, see the world and uh, you know they want everything to kinda have its own place and kinda you know just be organized and yeah that's basically extroverted thinking um, and secondly they have introverted intuition or NI now this is more of an internal function so uh, this this isn't easily expressed outward but it's kinda more internally and it's kinda like a gut feeling that they get about things and also is very good at um, sort of predicting the future and just kinda having a sort of intuition or feel about the way things are supposed to go and so they use that a lot to uh, kind of you know, just uh, uh, almost predict in a way uh, what's going to happen in the future. And this, this, it's kind of a little bit mystical or whatever, or metaphysical in some ways. But uh, yeah, it just kind of, kind of is, uh, kind of helps guide them and see see things through. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's introverted intuition. Next is extroverted sensing. Now this is developed a little bit later in the ENTJ's life, and basically what it is is it's uh, really being in tune with your external environment, just kind of being able to interpret and sense everything that's kind of going around, whether it's you know through touch or feel or you know sight or hearing or whatever, just just kind of being in tune and just knowing what's going on with that. And uh, you know some some. ENTJs have used this, you know, to their advantage to almost, you know, help them be seen as, like, intimidating if they need to, to, you know, kind of get their way or, you know, let something, uh, let something, to help them get, uh, things done. So, yeah, and like I said, that's developed a little bit later, you know, like, when you're 16 to 20, maybe mid 20s. So, uh, yeah, that's extroverted sensing. And for the ENTJ, their final function is introverted feeling or FI. Now, this never really becomes a strength. It's kind of like uh, just lays in the background a little bit. But um, basically, what it is is it, it's uh, their their kind of um, feelings and convictions about uh, what they believe is right or wrong, or you know, morally kind of. Um, convictions about about stuff and uh, um, this kind of goes against their their external thinking of the world and you know wanting to make sense of the world logically so um, you know they're, they're very uh, oriented towards getting a task done um, you know in uh, in any way possible sort of so um, introverted feeling while it's there it doesn't really take precedent over it over their uh, main style of extroverted thinking but it does come out a lot um, when the ENTJ is stressed, and I'm going to be talking about that in an upcoming slide. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's basically introverted feeling. And next, I'm going to be talking about the ENTJ strengths. And the strengths of the ENTJ is that they take their commitments very seriously. They're very uh, dedicated to what what they want to achieve and what they want to do. And uh, if they've come to a decision on something, they really, um, you know, put a lot of uh, a lot of uh, their their duty into filling that out, and um, yeah, that's that's just something that they naturally do. And they're also very good with money. Um, it's just something that comes naturally to the ENTJ with finances and dealing with um, making the correct decisions with money and not wasting it or you know spending it in a foolish manner. Although they do sometimes uh, have an extravagant lifestyle. Um, but they're always really good at you know keeping on top of making sure that um, all the finances are sorted out and everything like that. And also they have very high standards and expectations, and this is usually strength because you know they want to uh, you know uh, they want they want to achieve more, and they're not really content with just staying stagnant. So um, yeah, this is usually strength, although this could cause some problems with other people that, you know, may be more comfortable with uh, things are things being the way they are. But um, yeah, it's usually, you know, 
ENTJs are always promoting change and improvements. So uh, yeah, that's that's uh, one one a aspect of an ENTJ. Another is that they can be they can grasp difficult concepts and theories. So uh, you know they're very intuitive that they can kind of understand. Um, you know how things work and and kind of just piece those together and uh yeah it's just just something that comes very natural uh they're also logical you know so uh that helps a lot and they enjoy reading and learning new new things and always improving themselves so that's that that's that and they're also very good communicators uh ENTJs are very good at you know uh, expressing expressing their points and their point of views as well as uh, directing others and kind of you know just being able to explain explain to others what they want them to do or want them to achieve so this makes them very good at you know a management role or or uh, you know just just expressing something to to other people now while all types do have their strengths um, you know ev every type does have their weaknesses as well and a couple of the weaknesses of the ENTJ is that they can be challenging and confrontational now uh, you know they they like to express their opinions and how they how they believe uh, what they believe and uh, you know while this is a strength uh, in most times uh, it could also cause some uh, disharmony between relationships and others that you know might might not <laughs> enjoy their uh, their directness as much as as much as they they do it so yeah um, and also they could be critical and close-minded to differences in opinion this kind of goes with the other part but um, they the ENTJs by nature a very logical person so what they believe is is what they believe and they they believe it's right so uh, you know they, they hold very strongly to those views and uh, if other people have different conflicting views to them they they might dismiss that as being illogical and not making sense without even even uh, really giving them a chance to entertain that idea so so that could be an issue another one may is that they may have trouble expressing love and affection uh like i said multiple times they 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 are logical and uh it, they they put emotions and feelings kind of on the back burner so um if they're in a more intim intimate relationship or setting they they will need to work on that a little bit to to uh let the other person you know know how they feel about them and kind of let their guards down maybe a little bit with their emotions and their feelings so and uh last they can make some hasty decisions at times now yeah you know while they usually think things through um there are times where where they can become very sure of of an idea that they that they uh came to because they like to make con conclusions kind of quickly and um th this could cause them to make some without all the necessary information to come to a conclusion so I in doing so they could cause you know some some decisions to to end up backfiring on them because because they only had enough information at the time to come to that conclusion but if they would have maybe you know suspended uh the judgment on that a little bit uh it could have could have let them come to a better decision so uh that's that's uh one other thing that an entj might need to w watch out for and also that when an entj is under stress they might kind of go into what is known as like a shadow mode which is their functions go in reverse and basically this would cause them to maybe want to withdraw and want time alone and by nature they're extroverted and they like being around people so when they're under stress they they might you know go against this natural behavior and want to just reflect on the situation and just uh, you know just have their own alone time to figure that out and also they could have very intense emotions during this time they could while they typically you know are, are even even killed and kind of logical they they can get stressed out and become very emotional and kind of um you know overwhelmed and they could either express these outwardly towards other people or just kind of you know s sulk a little bit and go into uh their withdrawal mode and just just want to be alone and yeah so that's obviously a little bit uncharacteristic of the <laughs> ENTJ's natural state and uh like in the same sense they could also be sensitive to criticism and while they normally are good at taking uh criticism constructively and and you know uh using that to adapt 
their their approach and become a little bit better of a person. Uh, they they during this time they they could be very sensitive to criticism and not not want to listen to it or just get very worked up by it. And they could also act uh, overly impulsive, and this could cause some problems if the ENTJ you know it, while they're normally very uh, uh, organized, they could, uh, you know, do stuff to excess that they normally wouldn't do, such as, you know, spending money, maybe gambling, or, uh, drinking, or drugs, or some other kind of problem that, that, uh, is a little bit uncharacteristic to them, especially, and it causes them to lose a little bit of self-control, which, uh, yeah, d obviously is, is not something that an ENTJ typically wants to do, but, uh, when they're under stress, they this could appear and so also finally uh, the ENTJs have uh, a couple free reports on their actually jobs and careers for ENTJs as well as how to grow as an ENTJ and how to improve and uh, I, I'd encourage you to go ahead and check that out by visiting personalitygrowth.com slash ENTJ and also if you like this video I'd encourage you to hit the like button down below and also subscribe to this page because I'm going to be having a bunch more uh, postings about ENTJs and um, Myers-Briggs as well as some self-growth and self-development uh, postings so yeah I'd encourage you to subscribe and also in the comments if you have any comments or questions uh, please post them I'll, I'll make sure to answer those as quick as I can and uh, if you got some good questions I'll, I'll, uh, I'll maybe even make a video uh, dedicated to answering those questions so yeah if you could just go ahead and uh, looking forward to hearing from you alright thanks